Thanks for being with us on this Labor Day. And did you know that Oregon was the first state to make Labor Day a holiday? That was back in 1887. Portland longshoremen helped organize the West Coast. Our history with organized labor helps define where we live. America, industrial miracle of the century. From all the states flow bounteously the products of forest, mine, and field. From 1860 until the 1920s, the Industrial Revolution tripled the American workforce. When Samuel Gompers was elected first president of the American Federation of Labor in 1886, the movement for better pay and working conditions picked up steam. That's what the labor movement's about. It's about families. It's about people. It hasn't been easy. Two longshoremen died during San Francisco's Bloody Thursday walkout in 1934. The union had shut down West Coast ports over pay, working conditions, and hiring. The International Longshore and Warehouse Union remains active in Portland today. To be engaged. Oregon AFL-CIO President Tom Chamberlain oversees 48 other unions, with 138,000 members, adding 18,000 last year. I have never seen uh, the labor movement as active as it is today. No union? No peace! No sick days? No peace! We still have a great deal of political strength. We still have solidarity. We still have folks that'll hit the streets. 13.5% of Oregon's workforce belong to unions, compared to just under 11% nationally. 228,000 Oregonians are represented by organized labor, and people are joining unions again. We know that wages haven't increased for non-union workers. Uh, they're working longer, taking less time off. Companies like Uber and Lyft are a new challenge. But the city of Seattle just allowed Uber drivers to organize over rates and working conditions. And that's truly what the union movement's about, is building power for workers. Ken Boddy, Coin 6 News. Well, the largest union in Oregon is SEIU. That represents many government workers in the state. SEIU has about 55,000 members. And one of the things that unions do is they work in the legislature for things like 40-hour work weeks. That was uh, a union initiative as well as uh, minimum wages, of which Oregon has one of the highest. And they have a lot of poll still to this day. I mean, that first one, I didn't realize that Labor Day was that old that in the 1800s. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, Labor still. Day is that old.